I, I think that's an interesting thing to just look at this doing our due diligence in the investigation, not throwing any ink on LastPass, obviously. It's un, I'm understanding of how this all works, but uh, there are interesting conversations that come from this on password security and password manager. So I'm super curious what folks are going to say in the chat uh, on what do you think? What 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 changes have you made? Do we get into the whole passwordless conversation? Should we talk about MFA, two factor, etc.? Um, but with that, you know, I'll, I'll kind of open the floor, Chris, John Farrell. What do you think? Yeah, I think I think it's an interesting one because this was I, I I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt that um, the reason that we've seen the message shift and change over time is because each time they put out the message that was the the you know the most they knew to the best of their knowledge yeah. and, mm -hmm. and not that they were trying to like downplay it or or whatever i, I hope that that's not the case I, i'd like to think that's not the case but um yeah it it does start to throw a lot of doubt into there where you start to say hey what did actually happen here what do attackers actually like have access to you know or are my passwords safe um and I, I think that brings up you know some of there was there was discussion uh and again not clear discussion about like what is actually encrypted as part of LastPass. and i think there's been a lot of confusion about this so i think it's good to like um before we get into like oh what are you going to do and where else do you go to talk about some of this because i i think we can you know at least help clarify a bit um, so there are people, this is a screenshot. This is not one that we made. This is, uh, from somebody on Twitter and, uh, they kind of took some of the fields here. So if you've never used LastPass, this is a screenshot of the LastPass interface where you basically put in, you know, what URL is it for, what site, uh, the name of it. So you just, you make a name yourself, the username, the site password, um, and then there's notes. Um, <clears throat> And so a lot of people were freaking out, like, why is the URL and the name not encrypted, right? And what this means is that um, you can see for, if you were to get the LastPass vault, if you were going to get that data, you could see that there was a password for Microsoft.com. There was a password for GitHub.com. There was a password for um, Yahoo.com, right? And you could see the name that the user gave to it. Right. And sometimes like like for myself, where I may have multiple accounts at, at a place because like I use it personally, maybe Huntress uses it, um, whatever. Like a lot of times the name will have like name of the service and then in parentheses I'll also put like the username that it's associated with. And the reason these are not encrypted uh, is so that when you actually go to that website, LastPass can show you like, oh, yeah, you have two or three or one password for this site um, and you can select it. And then you can like choose that stuff, right? And it needs to be able to do this before it decrypts your your vault. And so that's why those are not encrypted. And, and so like you could go either way. Uh, like I am okay with that. Like the fact that you know that I have a GitHub account is probably not terrible, right? Like understandable. Um, but then there are other people who are like, no, I don't want anybody to know where I have accounts, period. Totally get that. Um, but at least the username and the site password are encrypted. And those can only be, you can only get those after you uh, like decrypt the vault using the master password. So then some of the controversy comes around <clears throat> is like, how strong is the master password? And the strength of it has like changed over the years. LastPass has increased the number of rounds that they do. Um, and so like there are, you know, for folks who, haven't used LastPass in a long time. Maybe they used it, they set it up, then they just like stopped using it, but their passwords are still in there. Their vaults are on uh, lesser. Think, yeah, originally it was 5,000 iterations, I believe. Yeah, and yeah, so their like account- 110. 110 what, 110,000? Uh, yeah, someone shared it with me recently. We were talking about it, I'll find it, but yeah, something like okay. that. So, so if you had one of the early accounts, it would only have like 5,000 rounds of Bcrypt, um, which more rounds you have, uh, the, the harder it is to like crack, like the more work has to be done to like crack the password, also to verify the password. So that's why they didn't just go with like a crazy, oh, a million rounds, right? Then it takes a long time to actually like 
do it to verify. So every time you're doing that, now you're doing all that work. Um, and so for folks, like I was saying, who created a LastPass account, they put a password in there, and then they like forgot about it, didn't come back to it. If you go and you look now, uh, like in the advanced uh, profile stuff, they'll tell you like how many rounds uh, your vault is. For them to upgrade and increase those number of rounds, you actually have to go back and sign in. And once you do, then that decrypts your vault, and then they can re-encrypt your vault with more rounds. But they can't, because they don't know your master password, they can't decrypt it to re-encrypt it, if that makes sense. Um, so uh, there are users with varying levels of uh, password strength for their master password. Um, and then there's like the notes. So it's not clear whether or not notes is encrypted or not. And like, one of the things that's kind of frustrating is like LastPass hasn't come out to clear this up. Like they haven't come out and said like, this is what we do and this is how, and this is why it's secure and, and whatever, um, which is really frustrating because, you know, they've come out three or four times and updated their message. Like, why can't you just be like clear with us? Like what's going on? Uh, so should we stop using password managers? Ah, no, no I don't think no. so. For 99.9% .9 of people, uh, no still use them otherwise people will revert to their poor habits of using the same password everywhere and making the same password weak like you use password managers 